Hello and welcome to another episode of Google Sheets learning series with Syed. In this episode we will talk about using arrays with filters in Google Sheets. To follow along with me please click on the link in the video description to make a working copy of this workbook. On this workbook I have 3 sheets. See it is where I will demonstrate do it is for you to practice and the practice data set that we will use in this episode. Let us go to see it sheet I want to extract the employee ID, full name, country and staff type from the practice data set. To do that, I will place my selection in cell A2 and start typing in array formula. That's the function I require. After the standard bracket, I will insert flower bracket to ensure that it works correctly. Then go to the practice data set, select the first column of employee ID that is what I require. But I do not want the header to be included in my extraction. To exclude the header, I will simply modify this to start from cell A2 and go up to A1000. Comma. I want the full name, so I will make similar customization here, cell D2 to D1000. Comma. I want the country information, make the adjustment here, J1000 comma and finally we want staff type G2 to G1000. You can make the necessary customizations as per your data type. Close the flower bracket, close the standard bracket and press enter. I now have the information that I require in order to work with filters. The filter function will require the data range where you want to apply the filter followed with the conditions. So in the first parameter, I will pass this array formula function. So I will cut this out. And here I will start typing in filter, select my function. And here in place of range, I will place my array formula function so that this data goes in the range parameter, comma. What is the condition? I want this data to be filtered by country. Let's say for example, I want all the employees from Brazil. So I will go ahead, select the country column equal to in double quotations, I will type in Brazil. Close the double quotations, close the bracket and press enter. This may not work correctly. I'll tell you why it will not work correctly in a moment. See that it is resulting in an error because the condition that we are trying to match is not matching with the range of data that we have used in our array formula function. So it needs to match that. So I will go ahead and make that customization J2 to J1000. Now it will work flawlessly. Press enter. I have all my employees from Brazil. Now from this set, I want only the staff type that is third party contractor. This one. So I will just copy that and go into my function here. And after the first condition, I will type in comma, select my practice data set sheet. I will go and click the staff type column, make that little customization so that it matches the range of my data set equal to in double quotations, I will place my staff type that I want to be filtered. Close the double quotations, close the bracket and press enter. Something went wrong. So here we need to enter G. There we go. So now we have the information of employees who belong to Brazil and are of third party contractor type. This is how we can use arrays with filters on Google Sheets. Practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. In the next episode, we will try to pass these values dynamically. Stay tuned. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you and have a very lovely day.